Are you aware that toads can be easily hypnotized or that chickens freeze in place when a line is drawn beside them? It might seem unbelievable, but these are genuine facts. Similarly, contrary to popular belief, snakes can't actually hear the tune of a flute. In this video, I'm going to delve into the fascinating world of animal hypnosis. It promises to be an intriguing exploration, so let's get started. Tonic Immobility Tonic immobility is a reliable mechanism by which humans can control animals. This mechanism causes the animal to become paralyzed and stop reacting to external stimuli. To achieve this, rubbing the alligator's belly is believed to be effective by bringing it into a hypnosis-like state. However, this is actually the result of turning the animal on its back, stretching its neck, and stopping its limbs from moving. It's important to note that attempting to rub the stomach of a predatory reptile is not recommended as the technique may not work if done incorrectly or too slowly. In the natural environment, this mechanism is triggered in case of severe stress or threat, which is why it's also called feigned death. Small animals use this mechanism to defend themselves from predators. For example, if a frog is caught and squeezed tightly, it will immediately go into hibernation mode. It will remain conscious but motionless until the threat disappears. Although this mechanism has been well studied and described in many scientific works, it was once considered to be the work of magicians. In 1954, people who could immobilize animals with a glance and a touch were considered real magicians. Today, rabbit owners know that tilting a rabbit on its back can cause temporary paralysis, resulting in a temporary loss of muscle function. The rabbit goes limp on its back and becomes immune to sounds and painful stimulation. However, it's important to note that not only rabbits are prone to sudden paralysis. Another striking example of a creature prone to strange paralysis is the oasis in the ocean, Kircher and Chickens. You've already heard of the secrets of snake charmers and what I've told you is not news to you. Well, someone must have discovered the secret in centuries of the snake charming art. Now, there's another interesting story you certainly haven't heard about. Few people know that experiments involving animals were particularly common and popular in the 17th century. In 1646, Athanasius Kircher, a German scientist and inventor, was involved in this matter. Kircher was generally an experimentalist who wrote a huge number of papers on a wide variety of subjects, including physics, natural science, linguistics, theology, mathematics, and even Egyptology. He also discovered that if you put a chicken on the ground and draw a straight line in front of it, the bird will never move. Kircher himself believed that chickens perceive the drawn line as something that holds them in place. After all, if you erase the line, the bird will immediately jump up and run away. Interesting, isn't it? Snake Charmers Snake charmers are a popular cultural phenomenon depicted in films and cartoons. They are often portrayed as wizards in turbans who contain dangerous cobras by playing music on the flute. However, the truth is that snakes are deaf and they cannot hear music. Instead, they have special sensory organs near their eyes that respond to vibrations. The snake charmer's movements and flute playing are what hypnotize the snake, not the music. Indian snake charmers use flutes with a special shape and color that the snake perceives as a threat, which prevents the snake from attacking. The snake follows the snake charmer's movements as he swings to the beat of the music. The snake charmer controls the snake's behavior with careful and deliberate movements of his hand. The snake charmer approaches the snake slowly to avoid alarming it, always keeping eye contact to detect the moment when the snake is ready to be picked up. If the snake becomes anxious, the charmer returns it to the basket and chooses a different one. Sharks and Cats What might your cat and a reef shark have in common? They both love to be scratched. Your cat isn't a fan of scratching. Well, a reef shark loves it, but it doesn't have ears, so you have to scratch its nose. After a long nose scratching, the shark falls into a state of tonic immobility, and then you can do anything with it, even put it upright, as this brave diver did. The pastime of the shark, which is in a slight trance state, quickly became fashionable among extreme divers. Photos illustrating the process and the result of such communication have appeared on the internet. 
tamed predators allowed to be touched. The main thing is not to stop scratching their nose for a second. Otherwise, something bad can happen. By the way, not so long ago, they managed to do the same trick with a huge tiger shark. It all took place in the Bahamas. In this footage, we can see several sharks swimming near the divers. At that moment, the diver began stroking the five-meter tiger shark that approached him. It got so obedient that the diver was even able to calmly turn it on its side. That trick surprised lots of viewers of this video. In general, the practice of tonic immobility is often used to tranquilize sharks that need to have the hook removed from their mouth. The fish is immobilized and allows divers to carry out painful manipulations. However, there's still some risk in using this method. After all, just like humans, not every shark is equally susceptible to hypnosis. Some animals become motionless, obedient, and uninteresting to predators with the help of hypnosis, while others can hunt their prey while being hypnotized. Stay tuned to see the hypnotizing dance of death, learn about the unusual abilities of tigers, and see how animals pretend to be dead to confuse predators. Let's move on. Dance of death. Certain animals have developed tactics to trick their predators. Some animals use tonic mobility, while others perform their own dance of death. Stoats, for example, use this technique to catch larger prey, like rabbits. Since rabbits are difficult to catch with a single move, stoats begin to jump and twist around them, hypnotizing them until they are close enough to attack. Arctic foxes also use a similar technique to catch snowy owls, but some scientists doubt that this is the dance of death, since their choreography is not as original as that of stoats. It's believed that Arctic foxes use this technique to play with their prey. A formidable roar. As for the tigers, they don't have to dance at all. These formidable predators are able to freeze their prey with one roar. The trick works both with small mice and experienced hunters. No fantasy, just scientific facts. The human ear cannot perceive the whole range of a tiger's growl. Tigers are one of the few animals that can produce sounds lower than 20 hertz. Scientists discovered that tigers use low-frequency sounds to scare their prey, and there are almost no obstacles for infrasound. It can pass through buildings, dense forests, and even mountains. The lower the sound, the greater the distance it will travel. Some of the sounds made by this predator are below 18 hertz, so you won't hear them, but you will feel the impact. The tiger's roar can instantly put another animal, and even a human, into a state of catalepsy. That's freezing. The effect lasts for a few seconds, so the predator has time to pounce on its prey and kill it. Such conclusions were reached by zoologists who studied the behavior of tigers during hunting. Thanatosis Scientists have dedicated considerable effort to studying thanatosis, which refers to the act of playing dead when in danger. Various animals, including possums, certain species of snakes, beetles, and even pigeons, utilize this defensive tactic. The animal remains motionless, often in an unnatural posture, to avoid attracting the predator's attention or to scare it away, preventing it from turning the animal into carrion. In a video example, a cat starts to pluck a pigeon that appeared to be dead, but the bird suddenly flies away as soon as the predator becomes distracted for a moment. Similarly, a gazelle pretends to be dead and even endures being bitten in order to find an opportunity to escape. It is an incredibly fortunate outcome that, while playing dead, no less than two dangerous predators engage in a fight over the animal. This is the ideal time to flee. Curiosity. What's this strange trick? It turns out that this is a way to attract the attention of emus, large birds that resemble ostriches. Emus can reach a decent speed and can run away from almost anyone, but they also have a weakness they're very curious. If this bird sees something unusual nearby, it will definitely come closer to examine it in detail. The carelessness of this species is explained by the fact that these birds live in Australia, where they have few natural enemies. Only dingo dogs and large birds of prey pose a serious threat to them. Hypnosis for the Toad do you remember Hypnotoad from the Futurama cartoon series? It's hard to forget, but have you ever wondered if it's possible to hypnotize a toad in a similar way? 
I came across a video where a toad seems to be enchanted by the black and white squirrel on a screen. It makes me wonder if playing a screensaver like this on a big screen would be able to attract a cat or a dog in the same way. Unequal battle. Actually, it's unlikely that smartphones will be of much interest to other animals. And it's for the best because, in other cases, you can get by with much cheaper tricks. Don't know how to distract the rooster. Give it a mirror. Only a few species of animals are able to recognize themselves in the mirror. But roosters not only don't recognize themselves, they immediately launch a furious attack in the hopes of chasing away the stranger. So, you should not leave a rooster with a mirror for a long time. Such a fight can last for hours. Share your experiences with hypnosis in the comments. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you later.